Once you're ready to share a production scenario with the crew, all you need to do is mark it as an active scenario. And now everyone will be able to see the production schedule that we've put together for the project. Here, we'll be able to see the timeline of the project mapped out over the upcoming weeks and months. But if we want to make any changes, we can do so very easily in the Gantt chart. We can move steps forwards and backwards just by dragging and dropping. And we can also make steps longer or shorter as we need. If we change the length of a step, and that step has a dependency with another, in this case, casting will need to be completed before shooting can begin, then the following steps will also move. And any unlinked steps can be moved very easily, again, by dragging and dropping as necessary. But if we want to move multiple or all the steps at once, we just need to select a first step and hold the shift key, then select the final step. And when we do this, we'll be able to move everything at once while keeping the same structure. So we can move events forward in time and change any information related to tasks that may be part of that step. That was a look at how you can edit a production scenario. See you in the next one. Hey!